Are you serious? Are you serious? Update on the London Tower fire, the inferno that's burning. Six people are dead. 20 are in critical condition, and there's many others that are injured. Matter of fact, tensions are running high along the edge of the cordon as temperatures soar and people become increasingly tired and hungry. Outside of the uh, community, people are very upset right now at this inferno that's completely burning out of control at the Grenfell Tower. Matter of fact, let me tell you what's going on over there. It's a complete inferno. At least six people have died, and 20 are in critical condition. 50 are being treated in hospitals uh, after this huge fire engulfed the tower block there in London. The Metropolitan Police said it expected the number of fatalities to rise further as a result of what Commander Stuart Cundy called a truly shocking fire at Grenfell Tower there near Notting Hill in London, England. Hundreds of firefighters have battled the rescue residents from their flats after the blaze broke out shortly before 1 a.m. So you got all these people sleeping. A fire breaks out of nowhere. The fire rapidly engulfed the full height of this 24-story building and was still burning strongly more than six hours later with a thick pall of dark smoke visible across the capital. Residents could be seen waving and screaming from their windows as firefighters wearing breathing apparatuses fought to rescue them. There were unconfirmed reports of a number of witnesses who spoke of seeing residents jumping from the towers as they were engulfed by the flames. And the London Fire Commissioner, Danny Cotton, had earlier confirmed there had been fatalities as a result of this unprecedented fire. Is this terrorism? Because, and I have to bring it up, yesterday I reported it, ISIS declared that they're still in the month of Ramadan. They declared for everyone in Europe, in London, England, in the United States, in Australia, in the uh, uh, Middle East, in Asia, in Europe, in Russia, to go to war against the citizens. And what happens? This tower inferno. Literally, folks, it reminded you of, of uh, 9-11 in a way. And uh, then besides that, you have the congressman in the United States, Steve Scalise is shot at baseball practice. Four other people shot. The gunman there has been shot and is in custody. But uh, anyway, and this is, in America, it's Flag Day and the president's birthday. It's like there's an assault on the West. But I'm not saying that it is terrorism. Not in England. I have no idea if this was arson or anything. And I don't know what the motivation was for the shooting of the congressman and the others at the Republican baseball practice, other than the gunman walked up and asked, was this Republicans or Democrats? And you start to wonder, is this political terrorism now? Is that what's been going on in America? All the rhetoric, the Kathy Griffin beheading of the president, the play in Central Park assassinating the president and his wife, the rhetoric on Capitol Hill, the anger, the pushing, the shoving, the comics, the, the filthiness, the hatred. What's going on? Has this world gone mad? Are you serious? Don't miss today's live broadcast. We may come unhinged, but we will report what's going on. We're going to stay on top of this thing. It's very, 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 very concerning. Give your life to Jesus Christ because you can see the chaos. Like I told you, the Lord told me. Oh, and by the way, just throw in an earthquake. 7.0 in Guatemala. Like the Lord told me. 2017, a year of chaos for the world but a year of great blessings for the body of Christ. Where do you stand? Give your life to Christ. We're running out of time.